This time on Woody's garage, more work on the broken down Honda. So it's the next day. Um, I decided not to work outside today. It's not as bad as yesterday, but it's still it's so unpleasant. So I'm in the basement. I stripped some last things off the engine, like the kickstart, point cover, uh, the, uh, the counter shaft sprocket, and a couple other doodads that I think I'm going to need for the other engine. So when we do go outside, we can do it. Uh, my main focus today is cleaning these carburetors probably for the hundredth time. First thing you got to do is unscrew four screws to get them apart from this plate. Then there's usually a cotter pin in here. I just got a little piece of wire right now. To pull the, uh, the choke lever together. Uh, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to start pulling them down. These are kind of nice. It just has this release spring to knock off and you can get the bowl off. The bowl comes off like a so. And you got your float. You got your main jet. You got your slow jet. And that's about it. So I'm going to pull all this apart and um, <clears throat> blow air through them. Again, I think this was the one that had the, uh, the seat that might be bad. It's kind of looking in there right now. Look kind of weird, but I guess that's right. And I might even throw the carb kit in it. All the jets. Needle seat. But the only surprise I found taking these apart was that this, oh, you can hear that. This one, I put an X on the outside. It seems like it's got a little bit of gas in it. Just a little bit. Um, but everything else seems pretty clean, like I left it. I mean, this is the main jet. Spray a little juice in there. Comes right through. It's a slow jet. Ooh, baby. Let's go through all the jets. Got to come out someplace, right? And you know, we'll go through everything like this. Clean them up. Check out what I got for kits. And reassemble. The only thing I didn't show is a main nozzle, which is down where this chopstick is. I use that to pop them out of the center there. And some bikes, they are more like a emulsion tube, almost like um, like a jet, <coughs> almost like they almost look like this, and they fit up inside there, and those get clogged wicked easy. But this one, I wasn't sure what it was like, but not not much can happen to this thing. We'll clean it anyway. Well, today we got on and off rain, and it's soupy. Still humid. Not too bad. This is the old Kickstarter that I took off that wouldn't clear the pipe. And here's what I'm hoping will. So we'll put it on and find out. The Kickstarter went on well. You gotta take your time though. You don't want to screw up the splines or anything. The splines are good on both. Um, yeah, and it'll clear the pipe. Most importantly. Okay, under the valves. Okay, what I'm going to do here is a repeat of what I did in uh, the second video, which was to um, <coughs> set the cam chain and the valves and the ignition timing. So <coughs> you can watch that video if you want to see that done. No sense in doing it a second time. Okay, the valves were fairly close. I did hear a noise when I did the uh, cam chain adjustment. Um, I got a battery in it right now. A problem that we do have is this is a coupling for the uh, wires down to the stator and this is what this one looks like so I'm gonna have to make up some kind of jumper or something like that to get the alternator running but what I didn't know for sure was if this needed to be connected to those wires in order for the points to work 
Um, so right now I have the battery on, I turn the key on, and I kind of expected the neutral light to come on, but this wire right here is a neutral light, so how can it do it if it's not hitched up? So I tried the headlight, and yeah, we got a weak headlight, so we should get spark, I think. Well, I don't seem to be getting any power to the points with my test light here. Got on the right side, got on the left side. Got the key on. Problem is, is that battery's a piece of junk, and those terminals are pretty crappy too. Uh, I'm gonna put the battery charger on it to use as a power source and see if that makes a difference, or if I have to start. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have my points plugged in. Yeah, it's a little oversight there. <laughs> we got the light on now, so we'll set the timing. Putting the timing on this engine. Uh, we're doing the left side first. The lead there, the test light. You can see the test light's on because the key is on. What you want it to do is you want that light See if I can get them both in the picture. To come on just as the index and the LF line up. Geez, I thought I had it, but now it's a little looks a little early. Shit. <laughs> so you gotta keep fooling around with the points, not the points plate. And um by loosening these two. This is so tedious, I hate to put it on camera. Cause it's kind of, it's almost guesswork. <clears throat> with one hand you gotta hold this right at LF. With the other, you take it and you move it within this pivot point here. Yeah, we got the left side anyway. You turn it back as it approaches the LF. Bang, right on it. So that was on the compression stroke, by the way, if I didn't mention that. So now I gotta turn it 180 degrees and uh, put it to the F mark and we'll get the right side hitched up the same way we did this. The sun is shining bright now. And the humidity. Um, but I can't see a thing with this test light and the battery being so low, so I think I'm going to clean the carburetors. Wait till I can put this in the shade to see the test light, so we'll clean the carbs. Can you see? That float pin right there, and that one. How tapered that one is at the ends. That was in there. But I have another one, so I'm going to put that one in there, because that's as loose as a goose. You know what I mean? Is it worn? Because these just have nothing like that. They're just flat. Carbs are all set, I hope. If you're wondering if there's a difference between the left and the right, yeah, there is. Because you need to get at the adjustments on both sides. Here, and also the drain. It's gotta stick out the right way. And also the choke mechanism here. Oh, crap. I remember doing this before. You don't pull this out. <laughs> it's got to line up with that. So, okay, I got to take them apart again. Just this part. This is what I meant. The choke thing that's going to be able to go on there. Oh, no. Cotter pin, maybe a little washer there. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. It pivots back and forth, so they're both up and down at the same time. Well, I just lost the other clamp. It's like this. Last I knew it was sitting on here. And as I was putting the carburetors on, I was like, where the hell is it? Uh, I can't do any more until I find it. Hopefully it's just amongst the clutter someplace. If 
found it. It was inside. It was never out here. <laughs> I went through the trash and everything. Really liking the seal I got over there. But it's kind of like have to do. Now these uh, rubber manifolds have kind of lost their pliability. We'll have to see if that's going to leak sucky air. If it does, we'll just have to do something about it. Okay, it's slide time. Just hit it with a little bit of carb spray. If you notice on these, they got a slit here. That slit, I don't know if you can kind of see it in there. There's a little nub. And it's got to clear that nub, or slides along that nub to keep it straight up and down for positioning. This side has a notch right there for the idle adjustment right here. The cap seem to have some mysterious numbers on them too. 24. Okay. 24 goes in the back. Throttle cable goes in the front. Put that one on. Make sure the throttle goes up and down easy. No, I can't see in there, can ya? I can't. Works good. I mean, a little, either a, um, a piece of wire to hold it temporarily or a cotter pin. Probably use wire right for now because I might have to pull it apart again. Works them both at once and they're adjustable too. So when this comes around to F, that light's got to come on. Let's see how well we did. Bing. Bing. That should be dead on. So, all cylinders should be timed. Carburetor's on. So, almost ready for starting up. At some point, I really got to deal with this. I want to see if anything's ripped or torn under this tape. It's supposed to come up and tuck it in under here, but it's kind of like, you know, you throw a chain in this thing and you wipe this crap out. And I also find it kind of bizarre that uh, there's only two wires coming out of the stator. You had four wires here. Now we can see this is a neutral switch and it plugs into something, I think. I don't know where. Um, I also want to swap out the uh, sprocket. This one's got a missing tooth. Might as well do that. Shifted it down into first gear so that I could break these two uh, nuts held on by 10 millimeter. And this thing just kind of slides like that and you pull it off. So when it goes up like that, it kind of bridges across these guys here so that the the sprocket can't come off. Looks like a ninja star or something. Hiya! Okay, we'll clean it up a little bit and uh, put on the new one. Okay, new sprocket's on. Now what I'm thinking about, oh by the way, this is a clutch rod here. Kind of a uh, pain in the neck setup. Sometimes it just falls out goes into this in the side cover and it's got a ball bearing in there and when you pull the cable it pushes a ball bearing this way and pushes the rod but what I'm thinking of right now is a neutral switch is that where it's supposed to plug into or something I really don't know I'm gonna have to check into that It'd be nice to have a neutral but it's also nice to know we got a first gear <laughs> Okay, we cut off the loose tape, so it looks a little more, less insane. And we got the two wires there, probably yellow and green is my guess. I'll wipe them off a little bit. Maybe some soapy water, or maybe the pink one. I don't know, I'll have to look at the schematic. And then we got, that's definitely for the neutral switch. And we got four that come out of here. One's green-red, that's a neutral switch again. Then we got a pink, 
and we got a green and a yellow and that's the same as we there's the uh, the pink and the yellow or that yellow is probably green but see then I got another yellow darker yellow and you can see that this is kind of beat I think I found a place that sells replacement ones so that will eventually be what I do but I might pop these out of here and pop these connectors out of here and come in I think through the back and release them see if you can see this got spark. It's kind of hard to see. These are the old plugs too. I went total redneck on this gasket and tried masking tape on it. <laughs> Let's see if it holds. I doubt it, but I don't have another one. Well, I pulled this apart. It was easy. With my fingers, it almost seems like it was apart before. So I got four wires here. And... I was going to pull th these wires out of here, but I'm thinking maybe of just using some spade connectors in here, putting a lead on them so I can wrap them around those wires. Of course, you know, I want to figure out what's right. Since uh, unfortunately some of the colors are kind of washed out here, I wish I could tell what those two are. black now. Maybe under the tape they're cleaner. <clears throat> but anyway, what I'm kind of doing is getting it ready to start tomorrow. Why tomorrow? I don't know. It's still, it's really humid today. I don't want to start, I have to kick it over so I don't want to get all pissed off and have, you know, gas leaking down my leg and all this kind of crap. You know, I'll put a charge in the battery, clean up all the tools. Um, I'd actually like to get this together so I'd have a clutch so I could you know, push it down a little hill in my yard if I needed to try to start it. Um, just things like that, you know, rather than rushing it. Starting to feel some raindrops. Just gonna put a literal chain on things. So I got the chain on, that's fine. Um, I was thinking of something better. Put spade connectors right on these. Why not? I mean, even if I go with a new connector, go buy one of those good ones, I'm going to have to put new connectors on anyway. And plug them straight into this. Just got to see if I got connectors that fit this. I know I have, I bought some for my Honda um, uh, Mini Trails, but I think they might be too small. And then I might have those regular uh, auto parts. You know, those blue, ugly looking things. Cheap shit. I got these, which are a beautiful fit. <clears throat> I think I bought these from Dr. ATV. It sells mostly like mini trail Honda 90 type stuff. But these are really nice fit. But if it's going to be temporary, I hate to waste these because I only got five of them. I threw this uh, Honda tail light on. It's not the right one, but I didn't have to do anything to modify anything. There's already holes in the frame, so I just used those the most. And uh, I had the old wires that came out, so I just plugged in the ones that I had, same color code. Those must be for blinkers. And I have a bad bulb, so I grabbed a couple others. Let's see what we get here. That's a bad one. No. Shit. Okay, I better test these and make sure they're good. Yeah, running lights. It's amazing how I keep old burnt out light bulbs like with one. These are two elements. So that there's you know two conductors there. 
two elements in there. One's for the brake light and one's for the running light. And like one side goes out and I still keep it. Okay, I gotta try to look and see. Getting the brake if I get the brake light. One second. Yep. Beautiful. So I figured out how to get these out. It's kind of obvious. If you look down there, you see like a tab sticking out at the top. You just push that up and it slides out. So I pulled this one out. Right now these actually will plug right in there. So I can try it that way. So I think I will pull all these out. Jeweler screwdriver. Okay, they're all out. You can see that tab thing that holds them in. So by putting, you know, the jeweler screwdriver down there, pops it out of the hole. We're free. We're free. That's how I can hitch them up. There's no bullet connector on this one. I mean, I don't even know what color that is. I'm repeating myself. This one's pink, and I know one of these guys is pink too, but look at them. So I peeled back some of the electrical tape, and uh, they're still, <laughs> they still look like all the same color. I'm going to try to wash them off with a little soapy water. Like green, probably. Pink, probably. Who the hell knows?